Welcome back to another episode of Bits and Bytes. And in today's episode, I'm going to show you how you can call custom Python packages in Google Collab. And the reason I wanted to make this video is because when I had switched over from using Jupyter Notebook uh, somewhat some time ago, uh, there's all these little nuances that pop up when you're trying to figure things out in Collab that aren't really a consideration when you're working in an environment that's running on your local machine as compared to Collab, which is running in the cloud. It's running on the Google servers. And this is one of those nuances. If you've downloaded a package or a library from GitHub, or if you've created your own Python package, and you want to be able to access uh, the contents of that package in Google Collab, which is, again, running on the Google servers, there's just a couple of extra steps that you have to take in order to do so. And so that is the purpose of this video. It's to show you how to do that. And so first things first, you just want to mount your Google Drive. And this will give you access to all of the files that are located in your drive. It's basically an authentication token. And it's going to have you sign into Gmail and uh, basically just mounts you onto your drive so you can, again, access all of the files contained in that drive. Once you do that, you can basically, and, and this isn't even a requirement, but what I wanted to show you is how you can list all of the Python files that are stored in a specified drive directory. And so this is a Unix type command, it's ls, and it just means list. And it would typically list all of the files that are located in a specified directory. But what I'm saying is, give me all of the files that are in this directory that end with the Python extension. We don't care about the file name, we just want them to have the Python extension. So that's like a wild card, if you will. And we can see that the only file that we have located in that directory is the ytstats.py file. And that ytstats file is one that I actually downloaded from GitHub from Python Engineer, who also makes YouTube videos about Python. And uh, it's, it's a package that he created that will allow you to scrape data from people's uh, YouTube channels. And so it's interesting. Um, I wanted to play around with it, but I wanted to do so in Google Collab. And so these are the steps that you have to do in order to, um, in order to do that. So uh, that will list the file. And then if you do the cat Unix command, that I think it stands for concatenate, but it basically is going to print. So I take this and I drop it right here. And it's going to print the uh, entire contents of that file right to your editor. So then you can see all of the different functions um, and commands that are available in the ytstats.py file. We can see there's um, extract all, there is get channel statistics, get channel video data, channel content per page. There's all these different functions. There's dump, which dumps channel statistics and video data into a single JSON file. And so these are basically, this is the package, uh, ytstats.py, and we have it just printed into our editor here using the cat command. Also, like I said, not a requirement. Two and three are not a requirement in order to access custom Python packages in Google Collab. And really, all you have to do is step four here. And this is essentially just changing your working directory so that it points to whatever directory you specify inside these quotes here. So you import the sys package and then you do sys.path.append. And as long as you know the directory that your file is stored in within your drive, um, you just update, you, you run this code here, sys.path.append, and you specify the directory location here. And once you do that, you'll be able to import and run any packages that you have stored in that directory. And so now, just like if I were importing pandas or importing scikit-learn or numpy, I can just do from ytstats, which is the file name, import the package ytstats. And when I do that, we'll see that there's no errors. We're able to import and execute the package um, just like it were already installed in Google Drive uh, or in Google Collab. So that's it. That, that is really all you need to know in order to import custom packages uh, into the Google Collab environment. All you have to do is update your working directory, as I've shown you how to do so here, um, of course, after you've mounted your drive. And uh, once you do that, you've got access to all of the Python packages or files that you have stored in that directory. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, go on ahead and leave them in the comments below. If you appreciated the video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a like. 
And uh, if you uh, like this type of content, I do typically release new videos weekly. So if you subscribe to the channel, you'll get those notifications as the new videos do get released. So thanks again. Have a great rest of your day. Appreciate you watching.